You're so much welcomed. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever you are watching us from. This is Beholders Chat Show with me, Bonnie Glorious. Today, I, I have some unusual friends. Uh, of late, we've not been with them, but I'm so, so happy today we have them. And before that, before I introduce them to you, kindly allow me to, to say a word of prayer in Jesus' name. Father, we are grateful. We love you so much. Thank you for the revelation of your word. You have filled us with the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge which is in us in new Christ Jesus. We are grateful. The eyes of our understanding are flooded with light and we are coming to the place of knowing what you've called us into and we are so grateful. Thank you for your word today. Thank you for the understanding that is going to all people wherever they are in Jesus name. We are connected and twined by the spirit of God and understanding is flowing in Jesus name. We give thanks in prayer. Yeah. Amen, 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 amen. Yeah, and it's a, it's a great blessing. It's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for coming in and always know that we honor you and we appreciate. Thank you so much for taking your time to be with us tonight and you're welcome today for the Beholders chat and feel free to, go, to interact with us. And today, say today, <laughs> yeah, on my, on my, let me begin with the son of my right hand. <laughs> yeah, today on my right hand, I have Minister Ian Commander Royalty, one of us, and we are so grateful to have you, sir. You're so much welcomed. You, and maybe before you introduce yourself, let me introduce my other brother. On my other left hand, on my other power hand. <laughs> yeah, and I have my brother who is so good to us, and we have him today for the first time in this yeah. chat, and yeah. his name is Minister Freddy Blessing, you're so much welcome, brother. You. Yeah, and so you, you can introduce your, yourself as we begin the show and as we begin the chat, okay? Yeah, yeah but right about now, today we're going to have a wonderful show, uh, a wonderful talk on who Christ is. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, th there is one thing that I love about the Word of God. The Word of God is centered on one thing. It is a book that speaks about salvation all along. Yes, sir. If I go to Genesis, mm -hmm. I will see salvation all along. Sure. When I go to Revelation, I will see <laughs> salvation all along. And when I go to Matthew and Mark and Luke and John, I will also see the salvation of the Lord. And so as we begin today's show, kindly go about that direction mm -hmm. as we see what it talks about from all the aspects. Yeah, you're welcome, Mr. Ian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure. Uh, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon from wherever you are watching us from. My name is Ian Kamande. I am royalty because God is my father. We are the Christ beholders, yeah. all of us here. Yeah. We are Christ beholders, a family that is international. So <laughs> right true. now we are international and uh, we are glad to be here and I'm really, really looking forward to the show today yeah. because we are speaking about Christ. Yeah. We have no other story. Yeah. You know, the song that goes, this is my story. Yeah. This is my song. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That is our only story. Christ sure. is our only story. Amazing. And uh, should I begin? Yes, kindly. <laughs> uh, on my part, uh, I believe Christ is the message of the Bible. Yeah. Allow me to begin like that. Christ is the message of the Bible. And, uh, you know, many of the people go into the Bible to look for things. Yeah. By things, I mean... Uh, a scientist will go into the Bible, go into Genesis, and try to derive where the world came from. Yeah. So they will go look at the creation of the world, yeah. and they will try to figure out and understand mm -hmm. what does the Bible mean by in the beginning God created the world, the heavens and the earth. Yeah. Uh, a sick person mm -hmm. might go into the Bible yeah. looking for healing. Yeah. Uh, someone who is broke or a poor person mm -hmm. will go into the Bible yeah. looking for wealth. Yeah. Yeah. But among, among many other people, mm. there are different reasons. Yeah. They go into the Bible mm. to look for whatever they are looking for. Yeah. But you realize all of these people, they miss the mark mm -hmm. when they don't realize yeah. that the Bible, mm -hmm. the whole of it from Genesis 
to revelation speaks about one person yeah. Christ mm-hmm. if you miss Christ mm-hmm. and you find whatever you are looking for in the bible yeah. you have missed everything yeah. allow me to begin like that oh, oh, yes sir. amazing amazing thank you so much and friendly blessing yes, uh, from where Ian has left it he's saying that when we go to the scriptures we need to go with a mindset of seeing Christ all along from the beginning to the end of it what do you have to say on that direction yeah yeah, yeah. praise the lord amen my name is Freddy sky blessing and um, you know, from the beginning of time, yeah. it has been the heart of God to introduce Christ. Yeah. Yes. Christ is the message. Yeah. So when you look at the, the Bible mm. from Genesis to Revelation, yeah. it's talking about Christ. Yeah. The Old Testament, mm. it is, we have the Old Testament you can find Christ, yeah. but you will never find the name Christ. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. The Old Testament, uh-huh. it is the it is Christ concealed. Mm-hmm. The New Testament is yeah. Christ revealed. Yeah. So for you to understand Christ yeah. in the Old Testament, mm-hmm. you have to read the New Testament to find Christ in the Old Testament. Wow. Yeah. Th- that is so amazing. And also, as I pick it up from there, uh, my name is Bonnie Glorious, and I'm so blessed, and I love you so much with the love of Christ. And so, uh, yes, and Jesus also confirmed on the very, very note. There's something that Jesus said uh, in the word of God after his death, burial, and resurrection. There is something that Jesus says that is so key to our study, yes. or even every time that you are you are coming to the word of God, yes. that there is something that Jesus comes and derives it so much clearly, mm-hmm. and not only in the book of Luke, but also when you look at the book of Matthew, Mark, yes. Luke, and John, yes. there are many places where we see that, so that the scriptures mm-hmm. might be fulfilled, yeah. mm-hmm. so that so that Christ may be seen, or what, to fulfill the prophecy that was made by Isaiah, yes. and there is something you've said that from the beginning, from the, from the beginning of time, it is Christ who was the focus. It was of God to introduce Christ to us. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And so in God's mind, in God's will, or even in the word of God, we will always see Jesus mm-hmm. from the beginning to the end of yeah. time. Wow. Yeah. There is something that Jesus says mm. after the resurrection, and he came He, he, he came and counted his disciples yes. who were with him. Yeah. Yeah. They were with him for that long. Yes. Mm-hmm. And there is something that changed. Uh, uh, yeah, if we are here with you today, yes. And then one day you appear to me, yes. And then I don't realize or recognize you, even if it's after a hundred <laughs> years, yes, sir. That can be so dangerous. Yeah. It can only mean. And now here it was only three days. Yes. Yeah. So that, that that should mean that there is something about Christ that has changed. Yeah. Yes. Sir. That means there is an identity because yes. Jesus yeah. had now left the realm of looking the way he used to look like. Yes. Sir. And right now for you to know him, yeah. it's by revelation. Wow. He needs to be revealed to you yeah. for you to understand him. Mm-hmm. But before sure. we go there, uh, before we run ahead of our time, uh, there, there's something that Jesus told to them. He's, he 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 tells them in the book of Luke 24 from verse 25. Mm-hmm. I'm reading from the King James version or rather the new king james version uh verse 25 he says then he said to them all foolish ones and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken ought not christ to have suffered these things and after and to enter into his glory and beginning from moses and all the prophets mm-hmm. he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself yes. so that means that jesus from moses to revelation mm-hmm. or from moses to the book of malachi yes. he expounded the things concerning himself yes. now can, can you can you kindly enlighten us on that note okay uh before you take your direction, yes. there is something so interesting. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, we are still in the same in the same direction. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, something very interesting mm-hmm. about Christ. Yeah. It's like he read the minds of men. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's like he knew what people were thinking. Yes. So there is this one scenario mm-hmm. where he he comes to the disciples, yeah. and he makes a he makes a very funny statement. Yeah. He, he wants to change their focus mm-hmm, uh, yeah. you know jesus yeah. wanted to change their focus yeah. he wanted these men to know that i am yeah i am the focus wow. so when you look at uh john chapter 5 mm-hmm. verse 46 to 47 yeah uh-huh sorry not john chapter 5 uh yeah john chapter 5 yeah verse 39 not 46 okay verse okay. 39 mm-hmm. jesus tells the jews mm-hmm. you search the scriptures yeah for in them yeah. you think that you have eternal life. Yeah. And in this 
are they which testify of me wow wow so Praise what God. are the scriptures as you yeah. said yeah it is beginning beginning from moses yeah. and the prophets yeah. he expounded to them yeah. concerning yeah. himself yeah. now here he's telling them mm-hmm. that you guys yeah you have a wrong focus yeah because you are going into the scriptures yeah searching for eternal life yeah searching for healing yeah searching for whatever you're looking for in yeah. the scriptures yeah. but these very scriptures yeah. don't speak about those things that you are looking for yeah the <laughs> these scriptures wow. they speak of me yeah he continues and tells them verse 40 uh-huh. but you are not willing to come to me yeah. that you may have life yeah isn't that funny it's very funny they are searching for eternal life mm. in the scriptures yeah the scriptures are speaking about christ yeah so i, I want to use the example of a phone yeah bonnie comes and tells me <laughs> let me use it as, a, as an example okay. you come and tell me mm. ian i want facebook yeah then i tell you you want facebook you tell me yes then i go into the shop i buy you a smartphone a very good phone yeah and i give you the phone yeah when I come to give you the phone, tell me no. I don't want a phone. Yeah. I want Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Facebook found? Mm-hmm. In a phone. Yeah. So if I give you a phone yeah. and you refuse the phone, yeah. yet you want something that is in oh, okay. the phone, yeah. you will not receive whatever you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting it? Yeah. I'm so getting it. so so Jesus is telling them, mm-hmm. in me there is eternal life. Yeah. But you are going to the scriptures yeah. searching for eternal life. Yeah. And these scriptures yeah. are speaking about me. Wow. And when I have come to you, yes. you deny me. Yeah. What do you want? Uh-huh. <laughs> you wow. see? Yeah. Yeah. So he's, 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 he's changing their focus. Uh-huh. He's telling them these scriptures, yeah. all of them from yeah. Genesis mm-hmm. to Revelation yeah. or to where, where, where the Bible had been written up to that time, yeah. I believe it's Malachi, yeah. up to the prophets. Yeah. All of that was speaking about Christ. Yeah. Christ is revealed in the law. Yeah. Christ is revealed in the prophets. Mm-hmm. Not eternal life. Yeah. Not the things yeah. that the Jews uh-huh. and which many of the Christians today yeah. Yeah. go into the word yeah. to look for. Wow. Yes, so, so you want to say there is something we had said mm-hmm. that we go to look for things in the scriptures, yes. but the, the scriptures will not give us things. Exactly. It will give us Christ. Yes, sir. Then do you want to say uh-huh. that uh, okay, the scriptures will deny me what I want, uh, but give me a Christ. <laughs> and Freddy can answer that, I guess, as, yes, yes, as we continue, and then it will flow as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Concerning that, mm-hmm. in fact, Christ will not deny you anything. Uh, the moment you know Christ, yeah. in fact, he is the answer of everything that you need. Wow. That's why he's the focus. Yeah. Just as my brother has said, yeah. he wants to fo- he wants you to focus on him. Yeah. When you know Christ, yeah. you will realize you will know yourself. Wow. wow. Sometimes you might find yourself needing some things mm-hmm. that are not even essential to your life. Yeah. But when you know him, yeah. now you realize, aha. So this is what I needed. Yeah. Wow. That's why uh, <laughs> he is uh, the only thing that you need to know. Yeah. You know, in fact, mm-hmm. the Bible says you shall know the truth. Yeah. And the truth yeah. shall set you free. Yeah. So the only way to know the truth uh-huh. is knowing him. Oh. So all the needs of, of a man yeah. is included in him. Wow. Because the Bible says that everything was created by him and for him. Yeah. So for you to have what wow. you need, wow. you have to know him wow. that you have everything. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, I'm wow. getting I'm getting the flow. Wow. So that means that the, the, the main focus when I go to study the scriptures, yes. I should not go with the mentality that this is the only thing that I want. Yeah. Because he will give me, like you've used the example of a phone, yes. he will give me a bigger thing yes. that inside of it, there is the flow of everything yeah, that I will ever need without yes. a limitation. Mm. Because if I go with my own mind, I will limit it yes. to what I just exactly. want. Yeah. And not more than he can give. Yes. Oh, I'm so I'm so, so happy and I'm loving the flow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I love, I love what you've said about uh-huh. Uh, he says that all things were created by him wow. and through him. Yes, sir. And also, I bet John, before before Jesus came to say what he said in the in the fifth ch- chapter, as we as we also align in the same same place, yes, he says in John chapter one verse one, mm-hmm. he says in the beginning yeah. was the word of yes. God, yeah. Yeah. and the word of God was with God, yes. and the word was God Himself. Yeah. Yeah. He says He was with God in the beginning, yes, and all things were made through Him, yeah. and without Him was not anything made that has been made. Wow. But, but then He comes, He brings us to the attention that, that you've said that, and in Him. Was was life mm-hmm. 
and that life was the light of men. Mm-hmm. So when we go to the scriptures, mm-hmm. uh, the, you, you, the, the, the verse we've read, I'm trying to take it in a clear way, yes, and I know even my our audience are doing so. Yes, and you say that you, you diligently study the scriptures, yeah. thinking that in them you have life, life yeah. but the are they which testify about me. Yeah. What does that mean? You see, that means Christ is life. You see, you've said uh-huh. in him, yeah was life yeah. and, and i think I, i'd like to 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 deal with that those two words yeah. in him yeah because i think that is the most important thing that someone can understand okay what it means to be in him mm-hmm. what it means to be in christ yeah so uh let me start with my brother there yeah. he has quoted a verse in hebrews chapter one yeah verse one yeah and i, I like to take it from there he has said mm-hmm. Uh, let me let me read it okay god who at various times yeah. and in various ways mm-hmm. in time past yeah. uh spoke to our fathers by the prophets yeah. has in these last days yeah. mm-hmm. spoken to us mm-hmm. by his son yeah. my brother has said yeah. whom he has appointed heir uh-huh. of all things yeah. through whom also the world yeah. uh, the, the worlds were made uh-huh. now there's something the bible has said yeah. in this son mm-hmm. With, with whom the father has spoken to us yeah. in these last days yeah. in him uh, he has been appointed the heir yeah. of all things yeah. the heir uh, of all things yeah. nothing mm-hmm. belongs to you yeah. nothing in this world belongs to anyone yeah. everything that uh-huh. has ever been created by god yeah. belongs uh-huh. To Christ mm-hmm. because Christ yeah. was made heir wow. of all things. Yeah. Paul explains it in Colossians chapter mm-hmm. 1 yeah. verse 16 he says mm-hmm. for by him yeah. all things were created yeah. that are in the earth yeah. and that the and that and that are on earth yeah. visible and invisible yeah. whether thrones yeah. dominions yeah. principalities yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, or or powers uh-huh. all things were created through him yeah. and for him mm. wow wow so everything mm-hmm. belongs yeah. to christ yeah. and the only way mm. to qualify yeah. as a particular of anything yeah. is you yeah. being mm-hmm. in christ wow yes sir praise the lord that is so amazing that is good so everything flows because you are in christ yes sir. and he's the heir of all things yes, sir. so because you are in unison with christ mm. You have been made together yes, sir. a fellow heir together with Christ exactly. because you are one with him. Yes, sir. What do you have to say about that, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. When when you understand that you are one with him, uh-huh. you know, in fact, uh-huh. a river will flow yeah. from the from the dam. Uh-huh. The moment you're connected to uh-huh. the to the dam, yeah. then water will just flow automatically. Yeah. Yes. I just I love an, uh, a story Jesus Christ was giving. Yeah. He said that I, the, my God, uh-huh. the Father, is the vine dresser, yeah. and I am the vine, yeah. and you are the husband man. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, uh, you are the branch. Yeah. So if I'm the branch yeah. and I'm connected to the vine, wow. so I'll just receive <laughs> everything yeah. from the vine, Christ Himself. Yes. But if I disconnect myself from the vine, uh-huh. I won't receive anything. Yeah. So supply comes from the the vine. Uh-huh. That again, it uh-huh. begins yeah. from the Father, oh, the wow. husband man. Wow. Yes. wow. Yeah. Praise uh-huh. the Lord. That, that is so amazing. Yes, that is so amazing. So we've dealt with <laughs> you don't go for things in the scripture, no. but you go for him. Yes. Because when you go for him, yes. everything else will flow yeah. because you've gone for him. Mm. Wow, we can pick it up from there. So he, you said uh, they search the scriptures yes. for in them they thought they had eternal life. Yes. And these things are they which testify of me. Yeah. Then he says, But you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay. That is so good. So, so that, that means when we go to study the scriptures, mm-hmm. we study it, and then in them, it's not where there is eternal life, but the scriptures mm-hmm. testify about someone, exactly. and then the someone they testify about, yes. it is him that we come to, yes. and then we receive life. Yeah. Yes. And what, what, what is the definition of scriptures? What, what are the scriptures, or what does it really mean? to search the scriptures because I, I believe when this verse was being written yes, it was written when jesus was here yes mm-hmm. there was no book of matthew mark luke and john yes, when it was being written because it is the, it was the it, they call it real time yes sir mm. it was the real time yes or what jesus was talking it was happening real time yes sir. so they later on came and recorded whatever he had said mm. and then they wrote it again yes sir. like when we read the book of luke the book of luke was luke writing to someone who was called Theophilus yes, sir. and Theophilus 
was being given a report mm. of what had happened yes. when Jesus was on the earth. Yes, so that means that this thing, when he was talking about you search the scriptures, yes, for in them you think you have eternal life, yet mm. they testify about him. Yes. So w what does it mean? <laughs> what, what is the meaning of scriptures? Because if that is it, yes, that means when Jesus was talking these things, the book of Luke and John was not there. Yes, so sir. what can you define scriptures on a broader way? Okay, so for me, I believe the scriptures uh -huh. was was the old covenant. Okay, was every every word yeah. that had been written. Yeah. Number one by Moses uh -huh. because for the Jews their focus was on Moses. Yeah. They call Moses, Moses their prophet. prophet. Yeah. And they and they are man, you know. <laughs> and then uh, the, the scriptures, scriptures is Moses. Yeah. What Moses had written uh -huh. plus all the prophets yeah. put together. Yeah. Beginning from Samuel, yeah. I, I believe. Yeah. With the judges, it is even the judges. Oh, yeah. Because after uh -huh. Moses dies. Leave Joshua, yeah. Joshua becomes the first judge. Yeah. Yeah. So anything that had been written by Moses, mm -hmm. plus all the prophets put together yeah. in the old covenant, yeah. is the scriptures. Okay. And the Bible says mm -hmm. that these reveal mm -hmm. Christ. Wow. Jesus has said, these ones, the law and the prophets, yeah. they actually reveal me. Yeah. And I'd like uh, to look at John's explanation for yeah, it. Yeah. Because we have now established, when yeah. we're going to the scripture, we're not going to look for things. Yeah. We are looking for a person. Yeah. It's a person that we are looking for yeah. in the Bible. Yeah. And I love where you took us in John chapter 1, verse 1. Yeah. I'll go back there and say, okay. the Bible says in the beginning was the Word, yeah. and the Word was with God, mm -hmm. and the Word was God. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, are seeing, we are seeing a personification yeah. in verse 2. Yeah. He calls the Word He. Uh -huh. He calls the Word a He. Yeah. It's yeah. a person. Yeah. So John has started speaking about the Word. Yeah. Which we know is for us okay when you read the scripture you might think it is a spoken word yeah. or a written word yeah. but ex expecting a spoken word yeah. or a written word yeah. john surprises you yeah. with a person yeah. he <laughs> yeah. yeah so the word of god mm -hmm. is actually a person wow when christ says uh -huh. that these testify of me yeah. these things that have been written yeah. are actually talking about me wow. in other words jesus is saying uh -huh. whatever has been written yeah. is me wow. wow whatever you see in those scriptures the law yeah okay in moses trying to explain the law yeah he was actually talking about me yeah he was mm -hmm. actually pointing you people yeah. Yeah. to me yeah. yeah when moses is speaking about creation uh -huh. genesis yeah. chapter one yeah you you are seeing creation uh -huh. But if you can look with my eyes yeah. that I'm trying to reveal myself to you, with, yeah. Moses is actually not talking about creation. Yeah. He's speaking about me. Wow. You, you are looking at Noah's floods yeah. and the ark, yeah. but the guy is not trying to give a good story yeah. of how an ark was, <laughs> was, on, was on top of water yeah. for, for how many days? Yeah. For 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah. He's actually mm -hmm. pointing you guys yeah. to me. Yeah. You guys, uh -huh. you're seeing people in a in a what? In a in a in a in a land which they are in bondage. Yeah. And then you are seeing a good story of how God has made them free. Yeah. But if you look with my eyes, yeah. this story mm -hmm. is not just a story. Yeah. It is pointing you yeah. to a person. Wow. And that person uh -huh. is me. Wow. Who is the word? Yeah who is right now yeah. and has been there yeah. from the very beginning wow. yes sir wow praise the lord <laughs> uh, from, from from what i'm getting yes sir you are saying that even moses yes in genesis yes. when we go to the story of creation yes sir. there is somewhere there is something he's saying about jesus christ yes when you go to Exodus, yes. there is Christ there. Yes. When you go to Leviticus, yeah. I can see Jesus. Yes, sir. When you go to the book of Judges, yes, you can even see him there. Exactly. Wow, that is so amazing. Awesome. Brother. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> In fact, I'm blessed by that. Uh -huh. When you look at the Bible, yeah. you realize from, from Exodus uh -huh. to Malachi, yeah. those are the scriptures. Yes, yeah. sir. But from Matthew mm -hmm. to uh, to the book of Mark, yeah. they, those are historical. Yes. Okay. They are talking about the history of, of Christ. Yes. Okay. Then the New Testament uh -huh. begins in the book of Acts. Uh -huh. Then in the book of Titus, dream. Yeah. 
Paul tells us uh -huh. all scriptures yeah. were written by the inspiration okay. of God. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So the scriptures yeah. were insp inspired by God. Wow. So what were the, what were the works of the scriptures? Mm -hmm. He says yeah. all scriptures yeah. is given by the inspiration of God yeah. and is profitable. Yeah. Number one yeah. for doctrine. Uh -huh. Number two yeah. for reproof. Uh -huh. Number three yeah. for correction. Yeah. Number four for instruction yeah. in what? Uh -huh. In righteousness. Uh -huh. So the scriptures yeah. are written yeah. to teach us. Uh -huh. They are there for our learning. Mm -hmm. Without the scriptures, yeah. we can't learn. Yeah. When I go to the book of Genesis, yeah. I will learn something. Wow. Yeah. When I look at the, the story of Moses, the brain serpent, yeah. I will realize, aha, so yeah. Moses uh -huh. was showing us what will happen to Christ. Yeah. When I look at John, I realize, yeah. aha, so Jesus Christ was to die three days. Yeah. So the scriptures were written for our learning, uh -huh. for the proof. Yeah. For giving you evidence, yeah. please giving you evidence yeah. for correction. Uh -huh. Correction comes in when sometimes you may think maybe by the things that I know, yeah. maybe the things that I know, I think the way God is. Yeah. And uh, the Bible tells you now mm. it is not; it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Like I love the story of Abraham. Yeah. Abraham w w was going to offer a sacrifice, yeah. and uh, his son asked him, yeah. "Father, we have the fire, yeah. we have the we yeah. have the woods." Yeah. Where is the, the lamb? Uh -huh. And the father said, uh -huh. God will provide for himself. Wow. So again, the scripture shows you it mm -hmm. has nothing to do with you. Yeah. It shows you it, has, it all has to do with the maker. Wow. He's the one who provides wow. what to do uh -huh. and the way to go. Wow. The way also the scriptures tells us that mm -hmm. there is no way in man. Yeah. So any way that seems to be right for a man, yeah. the end is death. Wow. So that's correction. Uh -huh. Then yeah. he says, verse mm -hmm. 17, mm -hmm. that the man of God yeah. may be complete. Yeah. So the reason why the scriptures were given uh -huh. is to make a man of God complete. Yeah. Thoroughly equipped yeah. for every good work. Wow. So the scriptures mm -hmm. are there to edify us. Uh -huh. When you study the scriptures, yeah. you will be edified. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, praise the Lord. Amen. Wow. And again... <laughs> Uh, there's something that I've noted from what you've said, mm -hmm. and thank you so much for for that. So uh, that means uh, th that means from from what you have you you have said, yeah. you have divided the whole Bible mm -hmm. into three. Yeah, you have said there is the scriptures mm -hmm. from Genesis to Malachi. That is the prophets agreeing mm -hmm. with what Ian had said. Yes, sir. and then you have said that there is the the historical view of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah. And then there is the epistles from the book of Acts to the book of Revelation. We, we cannot deny the fact that we have been told that the New Testament began from Matthew, mm -hmm. Mark, Luke, yeah. John to Revelation. Yeah. We cannot deny that. Yes, sir. We cannot deny that yeah. fact. Mm -hmm. And make us understand, mm -hmm. me together with everyone that is listening, mm -hmm. uh, make, make us to understand, what, what do you mean that the, the scriptures begin from Matthew, from Genesis to Malachi, mm -hmm. and then the, the New Testament is not beginning from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John mm -hmm. to the book of Revelation? Okay, so uh, my brother there said, yeah. he, as we were beginning, he yeah. made a very important statement. Yeah. In the Old Covenant, or in the Old Testament, uh -huh. or I can use the word that we, we are trying to explain in the scriptures, yeah. in the scriptures, uh -huh. Christ yeah. is a mystery. Uh -huh. yeah. He is hidden. Yeah. But in the New Testament, mm -hmm. we call it the New Testament yeah. because now Christ is revealed. Yeah. You see, yeah. that is the difference between the scriptures yeah. and the or, or the old covenant mm -hmm. and the and the and the new and the new covenant. Yeah. And personally, uh -huh. I believe the New Testament yeah. does not begin with Matthew. Yeah. I believe mm -hmm. the New Testament yeah. begins at Acts. Yeah. Because after Acts, that yeah. is where Christ has already died. Yeah. Or, or or maybe the last chapters of John. Yeah. From from the last chapters of John. Yeah. Because that is where Christ has already died mm -hmm. and has gone to hell. Yeah. Yeah. And then he has uh, he has risen up mm -hmm. and now his true glory yeah. is now revealed. Wow. And from there, actually, it is after Christ has already died yeah. and and uh, and resurrected yeah. and come back to the disciples uh -huh. that he starts explaining to them yeah. what they could not have understood yeah. then. Yeah. You see, in in Luke chapter in uh, in in the in the first chapters of John, yeah. he's telling them yeah. these scriptures mm -hmm. they speak about me, yeah. but he's not explaining to them how. Yeah. But now we see in the last chapters of Luke after Christ has already resurrected. Yeah. The Bible tells us now when he came, yeah. he started ex, ex, uh, expounding to them mm -hmm. the scriptures yeah. 
concerning yeah. himself, oh, the yeah. law and the prophets, mm -hmm. now concerning himself. Yeah. <laughs> There, in the first in the first part, he was only telling them that this scripture speak of me yeah. without yeah. any definitive yeah. Yeah. example yeah. or even explaining how the scripture is mm -hmm. explaining yeah. is explaining him. But now, he is actually explaining it to them. Yeah. And when you and one of the one of the best people, yeah. I believe, who has explained the scriptures. Mm -hmm in the light of christ yeah. in the eyes of the new covenant yeah. explaining the old covenant mm. is the man stephen mm -hmm. the deacon stephen yeah i believe it's acts chapter 7. Mm -hmm. I, the, 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 the the viewer can go and read i think it's acts chapter 7. Yeah. that person explains jesus from the old testament yeah. Yeah. until the bible says jesus stood up yeah mm -hmm. he says i see jesus standing mm -hmm. because that guy revealed christ yeah he revealed Christ mm -hmm. to a point that the people who were looking at him, yeah. they became mad. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. They became mad. Yeah. What are you telling us? Yeah. You mean all the scriptures from Genesis to where we are right now, they speak of this one person. Uh -huh. And this is the person they did not want to hear being talked about. Yeah. Then a guy comes here, a young mm -hmm. boy, mm -hmm. and explains to them Christ from Genesis yeah. to Malachi. Yeah. Actually, to where they are, mm -hmm. to the time where they are. Yeah. And what do they do? They stone him. Yeah. Because that guy has 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 the greatest revelation of Christ. Yeah. So in the New Testament, mm -hmm. Christ is revealed. Yeah. And I, I can take an example. Yeah. In Colossians chapter two verse sixteen, mm -hmm. I'll just give them an example. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says, "So let no one judge you in food mm -hmm. or in drink yeah. or regarding a festival yeah. or a new moon mm -hmm. or Sabbath." Yeah. Seventeen says, yeah. which are a shadow mm -hmm. of things to come, yeah. but Christ is the substance. Yeah. The substance mm -hmm. is of Christ. Yeah. So an example here mm -hmm. Paul is giving us, he's telling us, mm -hmm. those Sabbaths, yeah. the Sabbath yeah. was actually mm -hmm. a shadow, mm -hmm. was Christ hidden. Yeah. It was a shadow yeah. of a revelation of Christ to come. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. He says the foods that mm -hmm. you see there, there is a way these people were eating. Yeah. They yeah. were they are the sacrifices which were, were being given. Yeah. In Hebrews the Bible says that that uh, there were sacrifices which were being given yearly, mm -hmm. sacrifices of sin yeah. to try and uh, and and remit sin uh -huh. or to try and be forgiven the sins. Yeah. And the the writer of Hebrews tells us yeah. that there was found a fault mm -hmm. with those with whatever they were doing yeah. because whatever they were doing yeah. could not perfect man mm -hmm. why because it was just a shadow mm -hmm. of things to come yeah. so all through the old covenant mm -hmm. when you look at it everything that you're seeing there the altars yeah. the food mm -hmm. the days of celebration mm -hmm. even the rock yeah we come to realize later mm -hmm. that the rock that moses hit yeah. in the in the wilderness yeah. Yeah. was actually Christ yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it was hidden. Wow. So, Praise God. so in summary, I can yeah. say, yeah. I can use my brother's words yeah. in the New Testament yeah. and using the New Testament, mm -hmm. we are able yeah. to understand the old covenant yeah. because in the New Testament, mm -hmm. Christ is revealed. Yeah. But in the old covenant, Christ is a mystery. Wow. Yes, sir. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. And yes, very true. So the, the division of the Testament, yes, it is in the death burial and resurrection yes, of jesus exactly. christ the cross is the divider yes. between the new yes. and the old testament yes, the reason why that is true mm. it's because there is no testament without the shedding of blood yes, and there is no testament without the death of Over the testator yes, yeah, sure. okay yes, that is according to the word of god yeah. and also i will review something that jesus christ said he said in the book of matthew he said in the book of matthew 26 uh, from verse 26 he says and as they were eating jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said take it this is my body yes sir. then he took verse 27 the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it mm -hmm. so drink all of it he says for this is my blood mm -hmm. of the new testament which is shed for the remission of the sins wow. so this is the blood of the new testament yeah. yes. jesus himself said wow. that the wow. divider 
Yes, I got Or you. where the testament begins, mm. it's not from Madhi where I was born. No. It is not from Madhi where I began ministry. Yeah. It is not in Madhi where I did this and that yeah, and that. Yeah, yes. And even there are some things that could not happen mm. before the death, burial, and resurrection. Yes, so the testament was confirmed by the death the burial and, and the, the resurrection, resurrection of jesus christ yeah. so taking the summaries from what you've said mm. you have meant that when from genesis mm. to malachi yes. those are the scriptures yes. where jesus is hidden yes. or concealed yes. or in those places we will see jesus but we will not see him being pointed this is christ yes. or them mentioning the name of christ yes, but you will see him in shadows yes. in yes. characteristics yeah. you've used one characteristic of abraham yes. where he was taking his son mm. and going to sacrifice him yes. and then when he was going on the way mm. going to mount moria yes. which yes. mount moria is the one that Later on, we realize it was Golgotha. Wow. Yeah. It is the wow. place of the skull. Wow. It is the mountain that was outside on the east side. Yeah. The place of the skull. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So now we realize that when Abraham was with Isaac, or he was going with Isaac there, yes, he sir. told him, the Lord shall provide himself mm. a lamb. Wow. And so they went there. And when he said the Lord shall provide himself a lamb, yes. he was saying uh, about sins yes. and the forgiveness of sins, yeah. It, and even sacrifices, yes, it is not about what we do. It mm -hmm. is about what God will do for himself. Wow. And later on, we find that Jesus is coming mm -hmm. and then he's giving himself to the human yes. race. Mm -hmm. And he joins us, the human race, yes. in his covenant yes. or in his testament. He made men to drink his blood. Wow. So his blood became one with us. Yes, so when, he drank that, when they drank that blood, yeah. they represented the whole human race. Wow. So when Jesus was dying, mm -hmm. he was dying as us. So we joined him in the death, mm -hmm. burial, and resurrection. Yes, and even us, we who believe in Christ, mm -hmm. we join him in the death, burial, and resurrection because we drank his blood. Yeah. Wow. Amen. His wow. blood became one with us. Yes. And when it was one with us, yes. the guy was buried. He died mm. as us. Yes, he was buried as yes, us. Sir. And he rose again as us. And wow. we who believe in Christ, we have entered the New Testament. Wow. So the New Testament Amen. is divided by the cross. Yeah. Wow. And then after now, the New Testament, now the things that he will tell the disciples that I have many things to tell you now, but you cannot bear them. Yes, right sir. now they could bear because they were made now new creation. Yeah. Yes. And there is something new that had happened yes, and from that time to the end mm. now we see now the epistles are explaining what was fulfilled of christ wow. yeah. praise the lord mm. so that is in agreement that is to confirm that the scriptures there christ was there yes in matthew mark luke and john <laughs> yes. they testified of his coming yeah. yes. and now he Later on now, we see the new life or the yeah. epistles speak to us who we have been made in Christ. Yes. And right about now, allow us to go for a break. But as we come back, yes. we will go deeper on the same. Amen. Thank you so much and see you after the break. Remember, this is Beholding Christ. The, 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 the old ass church. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Welcome back from the break. This is Behold Us, the Behold Us chat show. And we are so blessed and we are ready to pick it up on the final lap as we, we talk about this wonderful subject that Jesus Christ actually he is the he is the middle, he is the center, he is the middle line of the scriptures. That means when I take a string Put it from Genesis all the way to Revelation. There is one thing that comes out in common, and that is Jesus Christ our Lord. Either he was hidden in the old, he was he came in the flesh mm -hmm. in the in the historical books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then from the book of Acts, or after the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, he is so much unveiled. And now we are looking back to what he did. In the Old Testament, they were foretelling. 
he will come. Yes, he will be yeah. looking this way. Yeah. He will be the savior of mankind. There's even a place where he says that, oh my God, he is crucified. Somebody saw him being crucified literally yes. in the Old Testament. Yes, but now, before we go there, <laughs> but now he appears in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then in the epistles until today, and even in the days that we are headed to, or where we go even and minister the gospel, we will always point men to what he came yes, and right. what he came and did. Mm. So, the, another difference of the old and the new, they pointed to him, but we point him back. They, wow. they looked wow. forward yeah. for him, and mm. now we point back wow. to what he did. Yes, Praise right. the Lord. Yeah. So, there is that confirmation, and very many confirmations that Jesus had and he made when he came here, or when he came on this world. And also, there is something we read in the beginning as we were beginning the show and we said uh verse luke chapter 24 from verse 27 and beginning at moses and all the prophets he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself and what was the subject of this verse 20 the previous verse explains he says ought not christ or when you read the scriptures mm -hmm. Did, we, did you not see that Jesus was supposed to die? That he was supposed to suffer these things and to enter into his glory? Yes. Then for Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto him and to them the scriptures, things concerning himself. So, brother, mm -hmm. from that place, Freddie Blessing, yes, what do you say? Uh, in fact, the scriptures, yeah. if you realize, that just as my brother has said, yeah. the scriptures you will see Christ hidden. Yeah. But in the New Testament, yeah. it's him revealed. Yeah. So the scriptures begin from Genesis yeah. to Malachi. Yeah. The reason is because in the Old Testament, that's yeah. what we call the Old Testament, yeah. or the Old Covenant, mm -hmm. in that Old Covenant, yeah. we have stories of men, yeah. what they did, yeah. the shadows, yeah. the things that could show us the things that Christ will, will, will do. Uh -huh. But again, mm -hmm. we have another book, the yeah. historical book, yeah. that is from Matthew mm -hmm. to the book of Mark. Yeah. That, that again is a historical book because we will see the genealogy of Christ yeah. in the book of Matthew. Yeah. We will see the stories of Christ. We will yeah. see how Christ began his ministry. His family. So his family. His birth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. We will see everything there. Yeah. Then after, after what happened in the book of Mark, after his death, yeah. the resurrection yeah. comes in the book of Acts. Yeah. Now that's when the Holy Spirit came and dwelt in believers, wow. not only in Christ alone. Yeah. Because the uh -huh. believers were there, yeah. the believers manifested after his resurrection, mm -hmm. the believers of Christ. Yeah. Before the resurrection, yeah. people used to believe, yeah. but that belief could not take them to heaven. Yeah. Have you realized that when Jesus, before Jesus Christ died, yeah. nobody was born again? Yeah. The reason to why the New Testament began at Acts yeah. is simply because uh -huh. salvation mm -hmm. was manifested in Acts. Yeah. In the historical, oh, sorry, in the Old Testament, yeah. salvation wasn't free. Okay. In the book of Deuteronomy, yeah. you will see the, the outline of things, of blessings. Yeah. And those blessings, you will obtain them yeah. after you fulfill some things. Yeah. But again, uh -huh. nobody was able to obtain those blessings yeah. because it wasn't free, mm -hmm. so you had to pay. Mm -hmm. Now the New Testament, yeah. so the historical, yeah. Jesus Christ comes and begins to prepare the way. Yeah. The, John the Bible says, prepare the way yeah. for the Messiah is coming. Uh, yeah. So the historical was uh -huh. a preparation yeah. of salvation. Wow, wow. Now in the book of Acts, yeah. After Jesus Christ died and rose uh -huh. in the book of Mark, yeah. in the book of Acts now we see believers began in the book of Acts. Yeah. In Acts 1, they were filled with the Spirit. Yeah. In Acts 2, we'll see that the church began. Yeah. So the more, the, more, the more the Holy Spirit is ministering in the book of Acts, the yeah. more the church is growing. Wow. In the book of Jeremiah 31, 31 uh -huh. in the Bible says, yeah. they said they will make a covenant. Yeah. Says, behold, mm -hmm. the, day the days are coming, mm -hmm. says the Lord, yeah. when I will make a new covenant yes. with the house of Israel, wow. yeah. with the house of Judah. Yeah. Verse 32, yeah. not, to, not according to the covenant mm -hmm. that I made with their fathers yes. in the day wow. that I took them mm -hmm. by their hand God. to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Yeah. My covenant, mm -hmm. which they broke, yeah. though I mm -hmm. was a husband to them, yeah. says the Lord. Yeah. So there, there was these guys who were given mm -hmm. <laughs> the covenant, yeah. but they couldn't sustain it. Yes. They, 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 they could just break it yeah. yes, because it wasn't perfect. Yeah. Then he continues and says, mm -hmm. but this is a covenant yeah. that I will make with the house of Israel yeah. after those days, yeah. says the Lord. Uh -huh. I will put my law yeah. in their hearts wow. yeah. and write in 
it on to their hearts mm -hmm. and i will be their god mm -hmm. and they shall be mm -hmm. my people yeah. so this is to say mm -hmm. before the new testament was manifested yeah these people they had another covenant yeah the bible says the book of hebrews that yeah. he had to take away the old yes. to establish the new exactly yeah. for him to establish the new there mm -hmm. must be a shedding of blood yes yeah. that's why jesus christ couldn't come and declare now mm -hmm. behold mm -hmm. we are bringing now a new testament yeah that was not the plan yeah the plan was come mm -hmm. redeem people from the from their bondages yeah. after you have redeemed them yeah. then salvation will manifest yeah salvation all became free yeah. the bible says that the grace of god mm -hmm. that brings salvation yeah. has appeared to all men yeah. all this has manifested yeah. in the new testament yeah in the historical preparation mm -hmm. in the new testament yeah. is the manifestation yeah the old testament yeah. was a prophecy yeah wow. that's that's the scripture wow, wow. That, that is that is so amazing, that is amazing. and from from what you are saying mm -hmm. uh there, there's something that you've been so loud about and so loud concerning and it's about the testament or the covenant yeah. and so that means the differentiation between the two covenants mm -hmm. is the, the the day god made a covenant with them yeah there is one that he made with the fathers yeah, when yeah, he right. brought them out of the land of yeah. egypt and i believe that is to that is to symbolically speak when mm -hmm. that was on mount sinai yeah. and then also mm -hmm. there is another covenant that he he he, pro he prophesied uh from our subject yes. we are saying in the old testament mm -hmm. jesus was hidden yes. so right now jeremiah is prophesying about the coming of jesus yes, when he will establish a new testament yeah. and which he established mm -hmm. where we've read in yeah. the book of matthew so that means that the, the the beacon of the testaments yes, is the is the death or where there were sacrifices yeah. or where he made the covenants with and you've said that god decided mm. that he will make a new yes yeah it was from god yes, it sir. was god who decided to do so yes, remember abraham said god will provide himself yeah. a lamb yeah. so he was speaking about christ mm. who will be given by god yeah. and not by the by the efforts of men yeah. and one of the things that i've seen also it's that god is saying that the reason why i will make that new covenant with them it's because they did not continue in the old one mm -hmm. that means they, their contribution was valid in the old yes, sir. but in the new one their contribution will not be valid yes, it will sir. be my work yes, i will put the covenants in their hearts and i will also put them in their minds yes. so it was god's full responsibility wow. that also speaks about the new testament yes. it is god's doings yes. yeah. but because yeah. before before we run ahead of our time <laughs> <laughs> because i believe we will have another show yes. where we will we will emphasize yes. on 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 what was the what, what was the contrast between the two yeah. or what was the contrast between when he speaks about jesus christ yes, yeah. because all around he's speaking about jesus christ yes, and even sir. jesus himself said the law was given by moses yes but grace and truth came yeah. through jesus christ and so we have said that the old testament began from genesis yes, but now here we are seeing a dividing line again yes sir emphasizing that the old covenant began when god brought them out of egypt yes, sir, sir. So allow me to take from you guys have had a very wonderful conversation about the testament. Yes. And allow me to just continue. I know we'll have another show where yeah. we'll continue deeper into this. Yeah. But uh one of these days I asked myself, yeah. uh, why did God give them a new covenant? Why did he say mm -hmm. that that old covenant yeah. I will take it away yeah. and I will give them a new covenant? Mm -hmm. Why was there a need mm -hmm. for the old covenant yeah. and i was as i was reading the book of hebrews yeah. i came across hebrews chapter 7 mm -hmm. i believe we can run there if you, if you, if you, if you are not already there <laughs> <laughs> so hebrews chapter 7 yeah uh verse okay so hebrews chapter 7 mm -hmm. he explains yeah. he explains to us why why yeah i found it hebrews chapter 7 verse 18 yeah so he says yeah. for there was an for there for on one hand there mm -hmm. was an annulling yeah. or a doing away yeah. of the former commandment mm -hmm. or, or, or of the former covenant yeah. because of its weakness yeah. and unprofitableness yeah. Yeah. so god is telling us mm -hmm. the first covenant yeah. number one was weak yeah. and it was unprofitable yeah. and then he goes ahead mm -hmm. and explains why why he's saying it was weak yeah. and unprofitable yeah. he goes ahead and says in verse 19 mm -hmm. for the law mm -hmm. for that law yeah that old covenant yeah. made nothing perfect yeah. you know before, before i even continue mm -hmm. god's god is god is obsessed yeah. with perfection mm -hmm. why because he is a perfect god yeah and there is nothing mm -hmm. that god wants to give men 
that is imperfect. Yeah. And that is why he continues and says, mm -hmm. on the other hand, yeah. there is the bringing of a better hope mm -hmm. through which we draw nearer to God. Yeah. A better hope, yeah. which is, so you see, on the first covenant, mm -hmm. it could not make people perfect. Yeah. But if I come and tell you, Freddie, the first covenant could not make you perfect, mm -hmm. but there is a better hope. Yeah. What do I mean? Mm -hmm. The one that I have right now in yeah. hand yeah. is able yeah. to make you yeah. perfect. Yeah. Because God wants, the Bible says, David tells us that God wants to perfect mm -hmm. everything yeah. that concerns you. Yeah. And we have seen that everything that mm -hmm. God gives, yeah. everything that, get con that God can give yeah. is perfect found yeah. in Christ, wow. not anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Now, by God giving Christ, yeah. which we come to realize is uh, Christ is the better covenant. Yeah. The Bible says this: the new covenant will be a better covenant yeah. established on better promises. Yeah. The first covenant, uh -huh. the Bible says they could not continue therein. Yeah. So if the first covenant they could not continue therein, yeah. that means mm -hmm. the second covenant mm -hmm. will be a better one yeah. in which the men will yeah. be able to continue therein. Yeah. Not by their own power, yeah. not by their own might, mm -hmm. but by their own, but, but by the spirit yeah. of God yeah. who is working in them. Praise and God. we realize that the new covenant mm -hmm. was not a covenant between God mm -hmm. and man. Yeah. It was a covenant yeah. between God yeah. and Christ. Wow. So yeah. man cannot break it. Yeah. This one could be unbreakable. Yeah. The first one was breakable mm -hmm. because it was between a perfect God yeah. and an imperfect man. Yeah. But the second one mm -hmm. is between a perfect God mm -hmm. and a perfect son yeah. for the benefit wow. of the man. Wow. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is so beautiful. This is amazing. The flow, I'm I'm loving the flow. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that we are only having a few minutes remaining, <laughs> but it's okay. I know, I know we will have a way to come about it, yes, but sir. all in all, uh, maybe w what I can collect from what you have said, yes, it's that there, there, there is, he, he, God was looking up to perfection. Yes, sir. So w one of the things that divides the covenant yes. is the perfection yes. of God. Yes. So that means uh, there, there is like, like we had just said, me, me and my brother here had said that mm -hmm. God was was looking up to something yes, where he will be the main he will be the main person mm -hmm. who is participating in yes. so doing yes, because when he gave it to them yes. they did not continue in it yes. but now for for the assurance that I will give to them and they will continue in it. Yes. I will do something bigger than that. <laughs> now, this is what I will do. I will give myself. Yes. <laughs> and God decided wow. that he will give himself yes, for the better covenant yes. and for the better place of it all. Yes, so all, all in all, uh, as, we divide, as we divide Jesus Christ, the message of the scriptures, yes, uh, th there is one thing, there, there, there are some things that I've noted that yes. there was no perfection in the beginning, yes. but now God promises perfection, perfection in the second one, which was coming yes. and it came yes, and did it really come okay don't answer that <laughs> we will we'll pick it up from there yes. and e even as we flow in yes. uh remember brother go god god has called us to perfection in christ jesus when he he talks to us when he shows us the characteristics of god mm. we should not see ourselves in the witnesses of men yes we should not look when we read the book of of, of Ezekiel, we should not see ourselves as the dry bones. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, there is a Greek song that goes like, my head in the and so, uh, according to what God has done, I mean, we should not look at ourselves as the victims of it all. Like when when yeah. the same, same book of Ezekiel, the people are taken to captivity, yes. and most of the times we go and look mm -hmm. at the ones that were in captivity in Babylon, yeah, and we say that we are they that went to Babylon, <laughs> <laughs> but we don't collect in those in all those scriptures that one day he came and turned yes. the captivity of Zion. Exactly. And so also David also, David prophesied in one of the Psalms and said, the Lord turned. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, yes. we looked like guys who were dreaming. Yes. And most of us, when we see the, the reality of what Christ has done, we see, we look like we are dreaming. Yes, but even in the thing that we look like we are dreaming, it's the truth of what God has done yes. for us in Christ Jesus. Wow. And he has called us, he has taken us from that place, and he has given given us great things. And do you know what he continues to say? Yes. He says that now in our tongues is rejoicing, in our mm -hmm. mouth is louder. And the people will look at you and they will say, surely Jesus Christ has done it for yes. us. Yes. Now, uh, I would like to give you everyone, each of you, a second, a second, as we conclude. I a second. Uh, allow me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but the, the, the shortest time possible yes, sir. as we wrap this up okay. one thing that you don't want the, the audience to forget okay sir yes do we begin with you? No, let me begin from my left. Okay, sir. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes, thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. One thing that I would not like you to forget yeah. is that God loves you. That's why he brought a new covenant. Yeah. The moment you received him, yeah. you, are, you are him forever. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is so amazing. Wow. That is from the son of my left hand. <laughs> if it was Jacob, <laughs> <laughs> it is Benjamin, the left <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin, yeah. Benjamin left. Yeah, kindly. So, Christ is the message yeah. of the Bible. Yeah. The whole Bible from Genesis yeah. to Revelation. Yeah. Everything mm. that you will ever need mm. is wrapped up together yeah. in Christ. Yeah. Because nothing in this world belongs to you. Yeah. Everything belongs to Christ. Yeah. For he was made the heir yeah. of all things. Amen. So, and all you need to do yeah. to become a joint heir or mm -hmm. a partaker of that divine life yeah. is to believe. In Christ. Wow. You're blessed. Yeah. You're loved. Amen. I am Ian royalty. I am royalty because God is my father. Wow. <laughs> Praise yes, the Lord. Amen. And never forget that whatever has happened in the scriptures, you, you take the best part of it because Jesus has called you to it. And every time you go to the word of God to check at yourself, always see yourself in the lenses of God or in what God is seeing Amen. about you. Yes, this or oh, that was the beholders chat with me, Bonnie Glorious. And my brethren, we had Ian Commander Royalty, and we had Freddy Sky Blessing, <laughs> <laughs> and we had me, Body Glorious, the glory. And until next time, <laughs> allow me, allow us to finish it at that point, and never forget that Jesus loves you so much, you are blessed, you are of God. He does you good all days of your life, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>